Alrighty. Hey, this is Dave Ward with the old Stoke here with wrestling legend Kevin Nash. Kevin, uh, how does it feel to be one of the more responsible for the attitude? The greatest era of wrestling was it? Um, it was great. I think there's a lot of people that, that don't get as much credit as, as some of us that were in front of the camera. But, you know, Kevin Sullivan was uh, another person that was, you know, he really let the NWO, you know, really get a lot of fuel and get a lot of heat. And I think that was one of the things that's, you know, to say that the heel faction, we were cool, but we got heat. And um, people wanted to see us kind of. Uh, Tails handed to us, I'll be correct. Well, it was a while we wanted to see that. It was pretty yeah. good stuff. Um, the NWO was revolutionary. Uh, where did the idea come from? Actually, um, Eric Bischoff brought it to me when I uh, was, was talking to him about, about leaving WWF at the time. And uh, it was an angle that was done by uh, a, a Japanese company. And two Japanese companies made it like a takeover. Uh, Austin takeover thing, and it really worked well in Japan. And he thought, you know, that it would, would, would be great. And I thought, yeah, it sounds kind of cool. You know, and all of a sudden, like the first night, you know, that we, we, we did it, Scott came, the first night Scott came down, and I saw the response, and I said, oh, and then I came down, and, you know, all of a sudden we got to go to who's the third man, and then finally right. it's Hulk, and then all of a sudden I see. Everybody in the arena throwing stuff. I'm like, oh wow, this is like the old 60s wrestling I used to watch. People can stand up. Wow, it's like crazy. Uh, well, that's what sealed the deal. I was a WWF fan. And then, you know, you see Scott on there, and then you appear, and that's like, this is something different. We gotta pay attention to this. Right. So, you know what the thing is, too? The, the, the chances of um, the chances of us all, like me and Scott being, being done with our deals, that, that closely together, like six days. Like Scott was June six, I was oh no, Scott was June first, I was June sixth. So for us to be able to, to, to be a week apart and be able to do that, because it wouldn't have worked as well if you didn't say wait till next weekend and what would my butt my big buddy comes. Was uh, Hogan always a part of it? No. Uh, when we first did Hulk was shooting uh, a movie with uh, Robert Vaughn and uh, Morgan Fairchild and Originally, they were thinking about turning Sting, but making Sting. Sting wasn't really responsive to it. And I think that you know, Terry, being the brilliant person that he is and the businessman he is, he saw the train leave at the station. He said, before it leaves, let me make sure I'm on it. Well, it added, what, 10, 15, 20 more years for him to be able to. You know, the thing was, too, that it, it gave him new life. And it gave us instant credibility because we had the iconic one. I mean, we basically turned the good guy back. It was an awesome one, I tell you. Hey, what was, it was, I mean, I, 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 I sent through the other night and uh, I was looking on my Twitter page and somebody said, you know, 13 years ago, the NWO happened. I, I lived, that, that arena is 15 miles from my house. I live outside of Daytona Beach. And, uh, this was up the beach from my house, and I just sat there and I called him. I said, dude, you know, I think it was 13 years ago. I don't know how did that time go, so, or maybe it was even 16. I forget when I called him. It was like, I was just like, where did that time go? It seems like it was yesterday. It was entertaining. Thank you. Uh, could you describe uh, the uh, feeling that you got at the Royal Rumble? I don't think there's been a moment that was more special. I was at the and you know, we didn't know anything about you being, well, you and Booker. When your music hit, man, there was a couple, you know, a newer generation of, you know, who is that? You're like, are you kidding me? You don't know who that, you know. And then when you come out, they're like, oh, now we know you're like, NWO's thing. I got to tell you, too, that's another moment wrestling fan in Washington and you're like, oh, man, this is awesome. You know, it's like, we need to capitalize on this. We need to do something awesome. So it, was, it was a great moment. Yeah, I, I thought they would do something with it, but they didn't. But, you know, you have to come back and look. Like, I kind of enjoy it the way they've used me. They're just going to use me spotty here and there. 
because I, you know, I, I'm, I am beat up, I am getting older, and I just put the pressure on me to have to, you know, I don't have to do anything, but just kind of perform a little bit. Hopefully one of these young guys can carry me, so. <laughs> uh, so. The Legends contract. What is a Legends contract? You know, with, with Triple H being such a close friend, but it's just... I mean, I could do this. I think I, mean, I could probably go work for G. I could put my hands to be on a Legends. Um, one, one of the things that it, that it does give uh, the WWE is it gives me my book rights. So I could go out and do a book right now without, you know, without, uh, without their approval. So they have my book rights. They have a couple of them. They have some of my rights away, but I ain't glad I write no book, so. If I'm going to have to have a lot of pictures. Right, very well. Um, your acting career has picked up an awful lot. Uh, it's going to be bigger than the rock, aren't you? My wife no. said she liked you in Magic Mike. She loved that. I wish I, I wish I got to win Dwayne's rules. Um, no, I, I, I'm, I'm glad that I got some work. You know, I, I, I love being to, to get a chance to work with those guys in Magic Mike and to work with Steven as a director. I mean, those are moments I'll never forget. Rock and Ages. With the mercy, that was awesome. It was fun. I mean, you know, you have to be around an A-lister like Tom Cruise, and then, uh, it was, it was, I'd never been in a musical when I watched it. I thought that, uh, Captain Santa Jones just absolutely stole that movie. I thought she was fantastic. Um, you should be commended, in my opinion, for your support of gay wrestlers. Uh, why don't you think more people come out and speak about it? I know, uh, Chris Canyon. I just, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, I don't get it. I don't uh, oh my God. My first cousins died away before, almost, you know, don't know even what age was. Uh, just, I mean, there's a bunch of gay people in my family. Uh, I've watched gay, I've watched gay couples raise children that are both completely straight, completely, um, well-adjusted, that are having their own children now. Uh,
think Paul's like legacy would be that people, people return wrestling to its glory days. Uh, okay. Thank you for your time. Yeah. I really appreciate it very much. Pleasure.